explain to us, and he's going to walk, walk us through this table with all the different delicacies on this table. Everything on the table is badats, and um, I'll go to do. Without further ado, we can have your full attention for Rabbi Menachem Mendel Davis. Thank you. Ooh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So let's talk about brachos. Number one is why do we make brachos? Why do we make brachos? Why do we have to make brachos? Why can't we just take something and eat it? So the first thing is recognition and appreciation. What are you recognizing and what are you appreciating? A, you're recognizing that everything good as well as bad all comes from Hashem. What are you appreciating? You're appreciating the fact that He is here. We learned out from Moshe Rabbeinu that, you know, He didn't hit the sand when it comes to the mark of Keen and Lai, but the sand, you know, it helped him out because it swallowed up the mitzvah and everything like that. So if Moshe had so much appreciation for like an inadvertent object of sand, how much more are we supposed to be, you know, feel appreciation like from everything that God gives us? That's the first thing. Second reason why? For the Shafa. It sets off positive methods. Every single time you say Brahma Dash Shafam, whatever, 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 it brings Shafa. Shafa is like abundance. It brings like, you know, like it brings like goodness into the world, into the fruits, you know, that's or vegetables or whatever. So every single time we don't make a bracha, it's like we're stopping that from coming into the world. The third reason, here is the Shaf. What's here? The Shaf fear of heaven. What does that have to do with making a bracha? We are now the Manalfa is not doing what it is. Not what talks about. Well, um, how does a person have fear Hashem? He's supposed to have 100 brachas a day. He's supposed to make 100 brachas a day. So, that's three reasons <coughs> why we make the brachas. So, now we know why we make a bracha. What's the proper mindset a person is supposed to have before he's making the bracha? The first thing is that is it the proper bracha? He has the food in his hand, but he's looking at it, he's saying, is this the right bracha for this? If you have a, a cucumber, is this going to be the right bracha? Is this going to be the right bracha? Fine. The second thing are all the foods that are going to be covered by the bracha. For example, let's say you have breakfast and you have, you know, you have some cottage cheese, you have, you know, some milk, you know, whatever. All that is all going to be covered under one shahat. So the second one you're going to have is what foods are being covered by this. The third one, the strange thing, is in the proper hand. What does that mean? If you're a righty, so while you, whatever you're holding or eating the fruit, it's supposed to be in your right hand. And if you're lefty, it's supposed to be in your left hand. Why? Because you want to get it, so you want to get it the quickest way possible and turn out that there's no heaven. That's what he says. If you're ready, hold it in your right hand. Okay. Fourth, is the food ready to eat, etc. Meaning to say, if you have a banana like this, and you're gonna say, you know, and then you're going to stop, and then you're going to peel and everything like that. No, it should already be peeled, it should already be ready to eat. Same thing with a piece of candy that's in a wrapper. You know, first part, take it, try three times. Also, you know, you have a hot drink. You know, if you have like, a hot chocolate, and you save up a little bunch of in the grill, and then all of a sudden like, it's too hot, and you're like, well, whatever, you also can't do that. Make sure it's ready to drink. Also, is it in its ready state? You know, if it's an apple, has been washed. The date has been checked for you know any bugs in it, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, if you're fleeching, could you have that? Is it even kosher? <laughs> After the proper mindset, you're supposed to have even before you make a brachas. Now, so I'll give us an order of brachas based on its kashim, based on its importance. Okay? The first order of it is going to be the most explicit bracha. The most explicit bracha is going to be the most important, the one that has the least amount of things that we made to that bracha. So, we can have our vitamins. Okay. The second one is if this is the Shavmina. Seven species that Eretz Yisrael is praised for, which are wheat, barley, olives, dates, grapes, figs, and pomegranates. You know this is when God overdoses, God forgives. That's how you know. That is the word. When Bob overdoses, Bob forgets people. That is how you know the order we call it. That's It's a little more. It's a great No, I think that's a good one. Okay. I like it. Meaning to say that if you have on the table any one of these items, obviously wheat is going to be first brought up, barley, olive, and it's going to be on the 
third thing is if it's whole or if it's broken. Yeah, if you see on the table that you have cut up carrots and you have whole cherry tomatoes. Obviously the broccoli is going to be made on the whole foods and then as opposed to the cut up ones. And after all that is done, finally it's on your preference. Whichever one you prefer, that's what you're going to make the broccoli on first. Okay, so now, now that we got all that, this is all the stuff you should have before making broccoli. So now before we eat, I have a question. There's herring on the table with crackers. Herring and crackers kind of have three broccoli to them. The crackers are dhamma, herring and shonako, and the onion, and the onion, what did I say? The onion? Crackers are risottos, herring is shahapo, and the onions are for double. So what broccoli do you make when you're eating the herring? Right? Like, do you make herring separate, whatever, whatever? Okay. So that brings yeah, us yeah, to Iker and Tuffle. Iker and Tuffle's concept, Iker is the main thing, Tuffle is second thing. Primary versus second. And there are three types of Iker and Tuffle's. There's absolute Tuffle, which is, um, if you have a primary food and something that's totally subordinate, for example, Let's say if you know you, you know you're feeling like you want to have uh, okay this great tequila and lemon. A lot of people they take lemon with their tequila. So what does that mean? You're gonna make a uh, eight on the lemon and then chocolate and tequila? No, you're only making a rough of chocolate and tequila because the lemon is completely like it's like it's like nothing, right? The tequila is is is, is completely perfect, absolute. Okay. Also, you have um, you have like chili, right? Let's say you eat a really hot pepper. And it's like burning your mouth, and all of a sudden you take bread, which is even a hamotzi, you still don't even make broth on the bread, you just make a broth on the chili. On the chili. That is absolutely tough. Mm -hmm. The second, the second, uh, the couple is enhanced sources. Food that enhances the other food. Like what? Having these crackers. You're only really eating the crackers because of the head. So when that's the case, also, by enhancers, and, and the third one is mixtures, so whenever you have a Mizonos, the bracha is always going to be Mizonos no matter what. Okay? Now, um, then what is it, even if it's a tuffle? So, even if it's a tuffle, for example, like salad and croutons? But it's worse than bread? It's worse than bread. bread. I mean, the third is you grab and you said Mizonos, even if it's a tuffle to the hairy. Oh, because because by enhancers and mixtures you're eating it together. As opposed to absolute tuffles, it's one after the other. I so here if you also do it's tuffle, but you're doing it for your Right, exactly. Well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So for example, now that people don't know this, croutons. If you have a salad and you have croutons in it, you make the on the croutons. You don't make any adam or whatever in the salad. Because it has the zones. So Crackers and herring. Yeah. You make them zone us and that's it. That's it. You're good. Doesn't go by majority. But that's that by majority. And a sandwich. And a sandwich with like a put some croutons in it. Yeah. Only same as that is? Sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 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 that's it's in a cracker bowl. She let her soldiers in a cracker bowl. What? It's in a cracker bowl. Yeah, yeah, we're not allowed to lettuce into a stack of crackers. I don't know. Last one is a mixture. A mixture of our whole food that combine into a single entity. For example, chalk. A brother's chalk. Because you have potatoes, you have dung, you have meat, you have barley. So for chalk, you also use the same. Unless, if you have a chowin, where like the potatoes and meat, like they really stick out so much that you can just pick one out, then you would, then you would make separate broccoli for all. But if it's like one big mixture, it's not one mixture. Alright, now that we took care of risotto, you guys can all start getting risotto. 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 But Harry, don't say risotto. We use that cooking. Oh, you can do it with Harry. I'm saying risotto. Yes. 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 I didn't hear one guy make a broth. Don't just concentrate on them like this. Um, bang. If you set a broth already, just go move on to the zone. Just to cover our back. Oh, bang. Bang. Ah, shoot. You want to hear him? Oh, Adonai. 
אלוהינו מלך העולם בורא מיני מזונות. אמן. Guys, there's lots of dips in the Amazonas. There's uh, olive dip, tuna, eggs, herring, uh, scallion dip. The what? There's more crabs coming. Jump one night. What bracha will we make next? Ah, uh, agape. Agape. Uh, Very good. Mega Chaim. Mega Chaim. Thank you. I got it. Oh. <laughs> I wish you could hear. Oh, we got it. 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 Olives, olives, olives. Do you have any olives on the table? 
We have olive spread. Do you have any dates on these? We have olive yes. spread. Are right, dates on the table? Oh, so you're gonna take check the dates them. first, yeah. right? I had a town worms in these before. So everyone's gonna take a date. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Just remember, the food has to be ready. You have to check it, credit box, etc. Rip it open and check credit box. All the other dates that they're all in the box. Right. I love this herring, by the way. It's good. It's the best herring I've ever had. I love food. This candy, the <laughs> best candy. You know why? All right, just hit it rough. Stop. If you can't say what it's very important. Uh, uh, if you have two aces on the table, and if you make a bracha on the one that's less cushion, for example, if you have a date and you have a pomegranate, and you make the bracha on the pomegranate first, because it's less cushion, you're gonna have to make another eight when you keep the What makes it less cushion? In the order of the seven species. What's the order again? Sorry. The order is all of dates, grapes, figs, and pomegranates. When it comes to no, we saw all the robots. Even the dates are dried up. All the dates are dried up. All the dates are dried up. All the dates are dried up. You have a date on the apple. You make a date on the apple. You have the date. You have to make another eight on the date because it was more cushion than the apple. Okay. Date or grape. Now another very important alaka, because so the side. dates come before the grapes, and then there's other dates on the table, which is the... Pizza. If you eat dates, make sure you eat before the grapes. And check Remember, if you didn't eat grapes first, you have to make another broth on the dates. If you want the dates. Ah, it's not a it ain't a matter very long. But you're ready for real eights. Oh, eights. Oh, eights. Okay. Oh, eights. Oh, eights. Oh, okay. Eights. Now, race it on the fruit. If you're not having dates, then yeah, now you go straight to the uh, beach. Wait, if you have a date, no. you have a date. Don't set it on the proper fruit, you would just cover everyone. So, yes. So, if you make a rough date, you have to make another rough date. What? I know. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's Okay, Finally, right? You have to end off with the date. Oh, what? You lost the shed of me. You should not have a Ben, you went to a wash. You should have a date. 330. Yeah, date's great. Great, actually. Yeah, but is it shed of me or shed of me? Unbelievable! Guys, the lucky definition of the eight of a tree is a tree stump that is alive and it produces fruit all year continuously. So if you have a banana, Bananas grow on trees, but we make a hadama on it. Why? Exactly for the tree there, because the halakha definition of a is a halakha characteristic of a bush. Exactly. If it's alive and produces fruit every year, a banana tree does not stay alive every year. It replants itself every year, therefore you make a hadama. Now, next drug is hadama. So now you guys are starting hadama. Now, before you guys have hadama, before you guys have hadama, before you guys have hadama, just know. That obviously foods that are whole take precedence over foods that are cut up, like carrots, okay? Carrots, chops, carrots, pickles, exactly. Also, you have to say how dumb on Yeah. Also, uh, Kazal said the word pre, when you hear me say the pre, whatever, it means that something that is eaten in its optimum state, meaning a state that people usually eat it. So, for example, over here, we have raw onions. It's not really common for people to eat raw onions. Therefore, the bracha on that would be shahaka. Because it's not eaten in its optimum state. Something that's cooked as opposed to something that's raw. Now, let's say you have a food like carrots. Carrots is something that you eat cooked. Carrots are also something that you eat raw. So, something like carrots, you make a bracha on adults. What about anything in our savannah? <laughs> it's, it's never in its no, optimum really state. I don't know if that <laughs> ever had an optimum state to reach. Just skip the bracha. No, we'll find out by the bank. Because you don't really, yeah. brother, you don't really know what's in it. So you just have we're not getting worse over Okay, so the next bracha we're going to make is a doma. And when you make that doma, never mind all the other domas. And at the same time, when you make that bracha, take something that's whole versus something that's chopped up. That would be the next thing. So you're going to eat a tomato and take the tomato. Not 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 the tomato. Not
Thank you. 